All right, welcome back to Subnautica. I didn't forget it. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? Some of you might be. Most of you, probably not. Couple bits of advice that I got last time that I'm gonna try to keep to heart. Um, I should try to go inside the wrecks. I keep forgetting, use the laser cutter, go inside of them. Apparently the one that was over by the Grand Reef, that one can contain the battery charger power fragment thingamadoohickers. Also, we actually already have the power cell charger thing. Oh, oh, look at all these things that I unlocked because I got the uh, the blood oil and the deep shrooms. Oh, that's cool. So now I can make some like some defense mechanisms if I want to do that. And also, people were telling me no, the the launcher pad is definitely in your inventory. You just passed over it. And I. You know, if I maybe if I go over to the what you call if I go over to the mobile vehicle bay, I might be able to find it over there. But let me so I have the power cell charger, so I can make that, and I actually don't have to worry about the whole deal of recharging the power cells for the uh, the cyclops. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I do have a new message over there on the radio. What I wanted to do is just put this down real quick. Let's just. No, 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 don't, don't sleep. I didn't mean to do that. No, I just, I left clicked instead of right clicked. I want to, I want to put the thing down. All right, well, hey, maybe I'll have a new bottle of water. So we're all good. All right, hey, just let me, fair enough. That's great. I'm glad you slept. Let's do, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Got some nice decoration on our, the, the bed sill or whatever we want to call it. I don't know. I don't have that part on my bed, so I, I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go see if I have some more water now. No, 77%, but we have some salt. Great. So I'm supposed to plant the blood oil thing. I don't know that there is a way for me to take the deep shrooms and plant them in the bed. There Welcome might be. Aboard, but what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. These are the safe shallows. They're safe. Why are you... No, that's illegal. I'm gonna call the ocean police on you. So can I switch to that? And then... Oh yeah, it'll grow. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's one of those, like, blood vine things that were all over the blood kelp forest. Not bad. So I just slept through the day and made it nighttime. Definitely what I wanted to do. Well, now I'm worried about the next part that I was gonna do, which is people were telling me to take the cuttlefish outside, because then I can actually play with it. Will it get eaten by that? Maybe the cuttlefish is like super baller and it'll just obliterate the the stalker. I don't know. But that's what I was told. But it's a one-time use sort of thing. You take the cuttlefish outside, you can't put it back in, but that's what people were recommending. So I hope... Okay, buddy. Don't you... Don't you go and swim away on me now. There was like one of your egg. There might be others, but I... Alright, it's a little dark. Oh, you sound so happy. Don't swim far away. God, it's gonna play with fish. Wait, hey, wait, hey, come. Hey, this is pretty cool, what up? Okay, command, command to stop and follow. Did I do it? Wait, stop and follow. Stop and follow. I'm telling you to stop and follow. I don't know, does that work? No, come on! Stop and follow. Stop and... F okay, whatever you do, just... So if I go further away, do you follow? Is that what's going on? Nah, you're just like, I don't need this dude. Thank you for freeing me, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm just hoping that it stays within a radius and also doesn't get eaten by other things. Is this what people were telling me? Drop it outside so that you can play with it because you can't do it inside the alien containment chamber, so... There's no more picking it up, though. Here, let's let's do... here. Yeah, you're stoked. Apparently, I just carry around treats. Like, food is a problem for me. But I just have a bunch of spare fish treats that I can hand out. They're always on me at all times. Cool. That's good. If only I'd known about that earlier. Maybe, maybe I could've eaten some myself. This is me. Just always such a pure heart. Prioritizing the fish over myself. Let me go snag a Reginald. Look at this thing. Just full of beautiful food. I actually only really need one more here. So, uh, what do I want in my inventory? We'll put the repair tool right there and go cure another Reginald of its terrible ailments so that I can eat it. All right, I'll do that really quick. Oh, I just need to get a piece of salt for 
we go. Good thing I have no shortage of salt. And then, yes, 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 I will read the radio message. Don't you worry. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Okay. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. That doesn't sound good. No, that doesn't sound good at all. So something got destroyed. And am I the new target that's unaccounted for? Perhaps? I mean, I haven't exactly been the most stealth here building whole base and all that. Okay. My hypothesis. There was that ship. The Sunbeam, I think. That was saying it was going to come get me. I'm assuming that was present day and not like a broadcast from way in the past. And maybe they shot that down, because obviously we know that the aliens shot down the Aurora. So... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm assuming nothing new like showed up on my beacon, right? You know, I don't need beacons on the Cyclops and the Prawn suit right now. They're just kind of obstructing my vision. I also don't need it on the Jelly Shroom Cave entrance. Let me just do a Life Pod and Seamoth. Um, so... The other thing, I did want to go back and try to find Life Pod 7, which is apparently in the Crag Field and not at the Grand Reef. So that's worth doing. And then on the way, we can go to that wreck again, go inside and see if I can get battery charger fragments. And uh, I was told that I'm just a terrible person. Um, and where is it? Where, where was the thing? Operation logs, uh, last recorded transmissions. Mm, I'm trying to... Okay, so those those time capsule things, apparently they're they're like left. Oh, there we go, time capsules. My first, I apparently just completely ignored this. This is the sea glide that I found, and it says this sea glide was my best friend until the end. Now I pass this down to you. I hope you love this piece of equipment as much as I do. And I was just like, I hucked it to the bottom of the ocean. I kind of want to find it though, because what everyone was saying is, yeah, that actually has a really good battery in it that has 5x the capacity of a normal battery. So I'm like, well, damn, if I get that plus a battery charger, I can just have some device that lasts forever. The thing is, is that a battery that I'm able to make, or that's only that's a special one that you're only able to find in elsewhere, or you unlock it later in the game? I didn't have, I just don't have the resources for it right now. I don't know. Let me see. Plasteel, nickel, or ruby, that stuff. I'm just uh, looking at the other upgrades, because obviously we're going to need to do some upgrades to the prawn suit eventually and whatnot. Um, any uh, upgraded batteries here? It was like it's like an ion battery or something like that. Well, whatever. We're going to go back. I'll see if I can find where I hucked that sea <laughs> glide off a ledge and at least retrieve it for the battery it has inside of it. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm, I'm smart. The uh, smartest person in the world. Do we have enough food? Yeah, we got, we got a good amount. We got some waters. Let me just see. Maybe there's another I can snag real quick. Oh, I just in the nick of time. I was literally making it. Cool. Well, there we go. I don't actually think I need all of these waters on me. Good to have some spares. And we will head out. Yeah, I just want to save a little bit of inventory space. Do I need this 20% battery? Uh, I'll keep it just in case. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. So that was basically like south for the most part to get to the Cragfield slash Grand Reef slash the Rex where we were at. Um, I think something like that. Uh, it was, no, slightly south east, I think. Slightly southeast. Right? That's... No, southwest, southwest, southwest. I'm trying to visualize the map from memory when, in fact, what I should do is I should just bring it up right there so that I can have it. Yeah, 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 we're going southwest. South, southwest, yeah, just a little bit. That'll take me to the sort of rear part of the Aurora. And, um, hopefully we'll find it this time. I have to use my GeoGuessr skills. That's really why I've been playing GeoGuessr all these months, so that I can look at a, a thing. Okay, so is this like, a, is this a wreck that I can enter? Because I have yet to actually enter inside of one of these. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so let me go to this door. Because we haven't done this yet. And... 
to fight. God, there's some ominous noises going on right now. Um, yeah, see, it's like, why won't you let me in? There's a door and everything. Oh, it's the geothermal vent. I was like, man, that's a wild noise. All right, it's that. So you just don't, you don't want me to be able to go in here, do you? Not cool. Not cool. Can I? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a latch I can open. Hmm. What do you know? Huh. Oh, PDA. Paul Portal. He can fragment. Um. Okay, I mean, we've already done that stuff. You know, I guess I need to bring a uh, flashlight, don't I? Can I open that? Damaged wiring, use repair tool. Well, maybe I should take a trip back really quickly and go and snag a flashlight, because we could get into some dark places. Huh. Beacon fragment. Okay. So, yeah, been uh, a lot of beacons. <laughs> Whole bunch of beacons and sea glide fragments. So, yeah, I should uh, have done this a long time ago. Yeah, definitely should have, but then I didn't. I need to go grab a flashlight really quickly because it's going to be real dark inside of the uh, deeper ones. So don't mind me, just got to swim back 400 meters real quick. I don't know why I don't always just keep the flashlight on me. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. No, it, def it definitely wouldn't be at all. That's okay, because now I can... Damn fish. Now I can drink water, eat a fish, and then we'll be good. I actually might want to bring another Reginald with me. I wish I had the ability to expand my... Why are you here? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here, okay? You suck. Oh, look at that blood kelp vine growing right there. That's nice. All right, I'm going to get out. And let's just go grab that flashlight. Eat a fish. Do that. Grab the water. Look at us up to 100, 100 once again. Switch container. And yeah, I'm just going to grab a couple more in case. God, we are like so full on the Reginald. It's amazing. And there's so many. I bet they breed quicker that way. It's kind of just the best thing ever. Okay. And then we have so much salt. I can just cure all of you. Yeah, when people were saying, oh, you'll make the water filtration system, and you won't be worrying about salt ever again. They weren't kidding. I'm just glad that we got food and water sort of unlocked. It's pretty cool. Okay, so flashlight would be here, right? Yes, indeed. All right, brilliant. And where do we want to put that? Probably in, like, number two. I feel like we don't even use our knife anymore, really. Do I need my knife? I'll take it just in case. But, okay. Now we are actually going for real. Sorry about that little snafu. Always seems to happen though, doesn't it? Okay, back southeast. And we're going to the wreck. Gonna actually go inside of them now. Because I'm very smart. Yep. Super duper smart. So, what is it, like a thousand meters away to get to the Grand Reef slash the uh, Crag? Crackfield's actually more just straight south. Almost. Uh, oh, and people were telling me that those, the dudes who look like underwater dinosaurs, they are really attracted to the flashlight. So if you turn it off, you might reduce their aggro range. I don't know if that's actually super accurate or not, but we'll find out. I don't even know if my flashlight is on or off right now. I mean, on the sea moth. Let me see. Let's see if I can get up to something and figure out. Off right now. Okay. So we'll turn it off for the moment, and then what we'll do is we'll try to... Um, okay, so wait, southeast would take me more over to... No, 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 we want to go more southwest. Sorry, I keep messing that up. Keep messing that up. We want to go more southwest. And down a little bit, I suppose. We're almost there. I'm pretty sure we're almost there. Oh, yep, there are those boys over there. There are them boys. So, oh, yeah. Hey, guys, how's it going? Cragfield, what's up? How you doing? All right, so, hey, people in the comments, uh, at least one person said, in order to validate me, they were like, no, LifePod 7 is actually, like, one of the most difficult ones to find, so don't feel so badly. And I was like, "That's thanks so much. I appreciate you. Okay, so it was about 200 meters deep in the crag field. 
with all the bone shark dudes. Definitely good. Okay, but not having the flashlight on is helpful for the sake of, okay, it's the engine fragment. It's helpful for the sake of not having them aggro on me, but no, you ass dick. New radio message. God, I hate you guys so much. Come on, life pod seven. Life pod seven, let me just go up to the surface really quickly. See if we look to be about, you know, off the rear of the Aurora, which would be sort of to the this direction, right? And I'll just, actually I'll just do a repair job real quick while I'm up here. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're off the rear. 200 meters deep. In case you want a refresher, we have um where was it? Where was it? Where was the thing? Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, that's the other one. We're back before that. Life pod seven. And it was over in the data bank. Where are you at? Survivors, life pod seven. We don't have you. God dang it, I don't even know where they are. Degassi survivors, Altera search and rescue, Paul Torgel. Right, that's the one we just got inside of the wreck. I'll definitely I'll go back over to the, the the other time capsule space in the wreck over there. I was just trying to find the thing. Um, operations logs, codes and clues. God dang it! Where was it at again? Oh, Life Pod Seven transmission origin. Okay, two hundred meters low ecological activity, one kilometer southwest of Aurora Stern. So, right. looks like we're there, but um, repair tool. Are we out of battery on the repair tool now? We might be zero percent. Good thing that we have more. All right, twenty percent. Let's do a one hundred percent battery, and we will drop you. Okay, I'll put the twenty percent in the scanner because I feel like it's not. We don't run that down super quickly. Okay, see, two hundred meters, crag field. Low ecological activity, though, is the part that I'm not getting out of this, you know? God, this... Dude, this sucks trying to find this life pod, though. It really does. Ugh. Okay, well, we know we're in the crag field as long as we still have all the bone sharks all around, right? Um, and as soon as we get out of that and see the wreck, then... Okay, that's Grand Reef right there. Alright. So... Back over yonder, 200 meters. This is the start of the crag field. We're gonna find the damn thing. And we're gonna find it good, I hope. See, it's getting dark though, and I'm gonna have to turn on my light. And then all of the bone sharks are gonna be like, oh, hey, dead, or look at you, you're looking pretty good over there. Pretty tasty. Is this gonna? Oh, is that a little? Whoa, that's that one's like got radiation on it. Poor thing. I don't really feel badly for it because it probably still wants to kill me no matter what. It's probably more angry. And it's gonna irradiate me. Okay, for the love of God, where you ass? You suck. Not getting the low ecological activity. God, how do you find this thing? There's a there's a shark. Is that a shark shadow? Oh, that's two of them who really want me right now, so that's nice. That's good. That's really great. I'm trying to use my geoguesser skills here, and I'm... Mm, no, don't do it. Do not. Can you stop, though? Can you please? I don't even know if we're in the Grand Reef anymore. On the other side of the Grand Reef is, is the crash site. So it'll get all murky and yuck. Yeah, I think now we've entered the crash zone. So, right. Yep, now we're in crash zone. Somehow I've still managed to miss the thing. Okay, back over to Crag Field. Oh, you suck so much. No, I turned off my light. Chill out. I'm going to run into things now. Where in the hell is this 
stupid, stupid life pod. Oh my god. I'm just mad now, honestly. I'm just upset. Is it up higher? Up more north? It's like the... All of the debris on the ground isn't even indicative of there being a life pod anywhere nearby. I've probably been here before. I just want to be able to chill for a second and collect my bearings without something trying to kill me. Ow! God damn you! This is super annoying. <gasps> I found it! 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 Okay, this is good. So I don't want a radiation shark to come and kill me here. All right, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm gonna put a propulsion cannon, yo ass. I am about to. Holy shit! That's four of them. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh god, that's a lot of them. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold up, just a second. Oh, you suck again. Low ecological activity, my ass, there are like 20. You suck, your aggro range is ridiculous. Stop it. I want it to be daytime, I just want daytime. All right, I'm getting out and I'm propulsion cannoning your- Ow! I just ran into myself. Yeah. This is unpleasant, this is real unpleasant. All right, we're getting in here. Yo, it's a Z06. That's kind of cool, actually. What do we get? What is that? That's kind of creepy. New PDA what in data. The... Wait. Is that Mark? What is this? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's Mark right there. What in the world? Hold on. <laughs> Congratulations, you've made it. I'm sure that you're aware of this. Um. Hmm. What do you know? That's... I want to... I want to be... Wow. I want to have a game maker make an actual player model and hide me as an easter egg in the game. That's dope. Alright. Cool. Cool Z06. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> Alright, we made it. That's good. I appreciate it. Now I can't see a damn thing. So, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'm flying blind here. Okay, there's a sea moth. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Jesus well, Christ. Lord, I actually... God damn it, I can't see anything. Uh, we're going north now. Okay, so I want to go over to the Grand Reef now. Thank goodness I found that. Let me read it as soon as I get out of the range of all these stupid bone sharks. Oh, boy. So it's actually like... Further over... No, no, that was Grand Reef. Okay. No, yeah, I know you're going to be the one last challenge. Things standing in the way between me and salvation. I, I see how it is. Okay, thank goodness we found it. And, oh, it was, it was so close to this wreck. Oh, it was so close. <clears throat> All right, anyway, what uh, do we got here? Aurora Survivors, Life Pod 7 crew. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. I can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here. Have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Is that. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. God, I can't see anything. I need a battery charger fragment. Can I get that from you? Yeah, huh? Wait. What is that? Prawn suit grappling arm. Oh, that's actually probably good. One of two? That is like a chair or something. Can I... Oh, okay. I can laser cut you. Sweet. Use all the power in the laser cutter. <clears throat> Watch this actually lead right back to outside. I'll be stoked on that. Okay, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Isn't it kind of the way around? It's just like... Okay. Oh, sweet. More stuff. Anything. Oh my god, another sealed door. Holy crap. Oh, thank you, hey. Oh, 
Docking Bay the box. Why not? Cyclops Docking Bay with him launch. New blueprint acquired. Okay. How about a battery charger? How about a battery charger? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Mm. Through there. Also don't want to run out of uh, oxygen because that would be no good. Uh, but maybe there's a battery charger somewhere else. All right, we're only half. We're good. Just, just remember the way out. Otherwise, you're gonna die. You know, I'm gonna let's see. I'm kind of worried. I don't want to die in here. Just before I forget the way out, let's go back and refill my air. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of happy that I went out because that took longer than I thought it was. All right. And we're good. Is there a way in over here now that I've opened something else? Or at least I'll have. All right. I am so very smart for totally ignoring these things in the past, though. Aren't I? <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can figure my way back to where I was right through there and Give me a battery charger for the love of God open data box repulsion kit. I've already got you so thanks for the titanium appreciate that Nothing in there. What is this? What are these these prawn suit driller actually? Okay, that's good. We want that because I don't think we have that unlocked Boom got it that's kind of important, actually. So that was worth. Acquired. Anything more? Oh. Good way to get lost, probably. God, I don't even know, like, what's up and what's down. And Oh, you can just... Ah, Could have just gotten in right there. Nice. Nice. Oh, we got an abandoned PDA. Corporate profile. Integrate global. new PDA data. All I want is the drill. Or not the drill. I got the drill. All I want is the battery charger. God damn it. Why is it so hard to find? Well, that wreck was uh, a lot more in depth than I thought it was going to be, so that's cool. But also. No goddamn battery charger fragments, huh? Okay, well, what I should do is there is that wreck over in the grassy plateau area, which I totally managed to not go inside before so maybe that would be a good thing to check out if I want it but anyway not currently what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to figure out where did I find the sea glide I think it was like up on that cliff and try to retrace our steps and uh, <laughs> find where I dropped the thing wait a minute oh, I was right over here I think it was up on this cliff and I just like hucked it over the side or something like that Maybe I could find it because that battery sounded Good, this is gonna be a lost cause. I swear it really is I think I really did chuck it off into the abyss <laughs> so I wonder if it's like down here Mm, it's like a Cyclops fragment or something. Yeah, what did that thing end up? It's a good question. It's a real good question. I might have to just go rewatch my video and try to try to retrace it that way because I'm going off of memory right now, and that's probably not going to be the best way to find something inside of the ocean. Yeah, mm. I don't know about that. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't think I'm gonna find it. <laughs> uh, it might be a bit of a lost cause, ladies and gentlemen. For now, it's like you know, it would be good to have the battery charger anyway if we're gonna have that, because then it'll recharge the five X battery rather than maybe to just throw it out. So yeah, okay. All right. Well, maybe there will be another wreck on the way home, and we can investigate that and see if we can find a fragment that way or something. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I chucked your best friend off of a cliff. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I mean, I meant to throw it off a cliff, but I didn't realize it was your best friend, and, and I feel, feel quite terribly about it. I really do. That's that. What is that? What is this right here? Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, yeah, I meant to check the mobile vehicle bay as well to see. Didn't mean to crash into that. Um... I meant to check the mobile vehicle bay to see if the uh, Neptune launcher pad is on there. Uh, I guess that is the... Okay, stop running into fish. Stop running into fish. Oh, oh. It's getting sketchy. <clears throat> I actually need to repair the Seamoth. What a surprise. I think mostly because of the boat sharks, but probably a few fish. Taking their toll. Yeah, I'll just be on the lookout for Rex and try to go inside them. I appreciate your frustration, everyone, and trying to tell me that over and over again. Like, hey, just don't look around the Rex. The Rex actually, they have an entrance. You can, you can go in them, do things that way. You know, it's uh, don't just look at them. They're not just decoration on the landscape. They serve a purpose, and that purpose is to not contain battery charges. That's exactly what their purpose is. <sighs> Frustrates me. Really? Fr oh, look at that blood kelp. We're bringing the blood kelp biome over to our home. All right, I'm gonna need to give you a repair, but I'm coming home so that I can listen to the radio message. Let's see what do we got here. Bring you back to home. Good, great. All right, so. What are we looking at here? Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. All right, let's pass a little bit of time. Oh, look at that fast forward going on right there. Nice. So I just need to sleep as much as I possibly can. And then it will arrive. So I guess this counts down in real time, actually. Which means, um... Oh boy, are we going to be able to have this happen in this episode? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a good question. Let me just check if we have our buddy around. Is our buddy still here? Yo, you're still here! Hey! How you doing? Let me give you a treat real quickly. Because I carry a bunch of these around. Oh, yeah, you're... Oh! Oh, I'm playing fetch with him? Sorry, you're not stoked on that. He's like, why are, you, why are you messing with me like this? That's not very nice of you to do. That's not very nice of you. Sorry, I do... Let me see. Let's check in the time real quick. Check in the time. All right. I think we are okay. If we do one more sleep. Yeah, so where are the... Coordinates. Where are these coordinates? Let's check out the beacon manager, huh? You didn't, you didn't send me the coordinates. What are you talking about? Rendezvous voice log. Uh, is this what we're going for? <clears throat> Let's see. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, what? What? Where is the? Where are the coordinates? You didn't send me. Co oh, oh, oh. Signal around Aurora rendezvous point. No, 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 that's not, we want Sunbeam. You didn't send me the point. 
What are you talking about? Where did they send it to me? It's not there. What are you guys talking about? You didn't send me a damn thing. You suck. Oh my god. Aurora, but freaking nothing. Nothing. It's not in blueprints, not in indigenous life forms. Advanced theories, data downloads, <clears throat> operations logs. Nope. 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 I don't know where I'm going. So that's cool. That's nice. That's just swell. Great. Any more radio? There's no more radio messages, so that's cool. Well, what a dick move. Yeah, we've sent you the coordinates. I ah, know you haven't. Now you haven't sent me a damn thing. That's cool. Thanks so much. Oh, good timing on the water. Cool. Good there. Well, I guess let's just put away the couple of things that we've collected and put my Z06 on my bedside. Just do a few things while we dilly dally and wait for nothing to show up for us. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, I didn't. I wanted to just put that down. Yeah, nice. That's pretty. It's looking pretty dope right there. Looking pretty sweet, if you ask me. Even though you didn't ask me, but you should have, because I tell you, it's looking pretty sweet. Sunbeam will arrive. Featuring zero coordinates. Appreciate that. I appreciate. Where are the. I must be missing something super obvious, or the Sunbeam crew just sucks. It's like when you send an email to someone and you're like, look at the attachment. And it's like, well, actually, you forgot to attach it. So, good job. I've done that many times. I think they forgot to send the attachment. And sweet. That's good. Very good. Very good. Well, let me go check the mobile vehicle bay and see if we can find that uh, thing. Where did I put it? I think it was like over here somewhere. Right over here. Right over here. Oh, there it is. Sunbeam landing site. It just doesn't show up in Beacon Manager. I see it now. All right. So, let's see if the launch... Oh, Neptune Escape Rocket. Uh, launch platform. Titanium ingot, computer chip, and lead time sword. I think we actually have all that, so I can make that. Yeah, let me focus on making that real quick. And then... I should be able to sleep, and then I'm going to head to the Sunbeam landing site, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, computer chip and lead X4. Just trying to remember that. Computer chip, lead X4. We can do it. Let's the computer chip again. Let's go and have this stuff memorized. Look at all this new stuff I can make. So, um, compute the cheap, table coral, gold, copper wire, uh, gold to copper, did I have any table coral? No. Alright, that's why I was carrying my knife, of course. I think there's some over here though. Okay, don't fart on me, please. Wait. What the hell is going on? Are stalkers supposed to be all, like, radio... Why is everything radioactive now? Oh, is it like if you get farted on by one of those, you turn radioactive? Is that actually what happens? Or bad things happening and, and things are turning radioactive even though I've disabled the radiation? I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's just something I haven't noticed the entire game so far. It's very possible. I'm not always the most observant person. I did not mean to eat that. I meant to mix up water and food. Oh, well. It's not like we have a shortage of salt or Reginalds. So I ain't even bothered by it. So, copper wire, computer chip, lead times four. I think we have lead times four, right? I hope. And also, because we're building this rocket, I have this feeling that the uh, whole sunbeam thing isn't gonna work out for us very well. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four. Is that all of our lead? Am I using all of our lead? Do we need to find some more now? Um, yeah, I have one lead left. Oh, well. It happens. Okay, I'm just gonna do this and get more food anyway, so we have lead times four. And I'm pretty sure I made a couple titanium ingots, didn't I? I thought I did. No, maybe I didn't. Did I put them in another thing, or did I use them? I used them. Yeah, okay, well, good thing that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and just get some food. How much salt did I get one too? Two of those, and uh, we need two Reginalds. I if I build the Neptune rocket platform, does it just go wherever I build it, or I don't know how that works exactly? Well, I hope I don't make a terrible mistake. I guess the resources are not like terribly difficult to get a hold of again if I <laughs> if I do screw it up, but um. Yeah, I'm more curious to see how this is going to work. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Well, there are plenty of metal scraps around if I waste my 20 titanium here. Um, and plenty of table coral, plenty of lead. Not a big deal. The only bummer is I'm going to end up sleeping through the daytime. And oh, but I guess that means by the time I get to the Aurora, or the Sunbeam landing site, it'll be like... That'll be fine. Okay, so Neptune escape rocket launch pad. Is it making it? Oh, it's okay. I hope it floats. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, you can't ma you can't put this thing on land, can you? I don't think so. All right. Well, fingers crossed that this. Yeah, it looks like a. Okay, okay. It's got ladders on it. It looks like it's meant to be in the water. God, that is a massive platform. Only 20 titanium in order to make a launch pad. Huh. Let's see. Hey. Well, look at that right there. That's pretty cool. Holy crap. Look at what I've just made. <laughs> Damn. That's wild. What do we got here? Nept Holy. Neptune Gantry supports rocket, plasteel, copper wire lubricant. Really not that much. So these are, I get it. So you make the first step using the mobile vehicle bay and then all the next steps are like from this. Cool. Well, um, look at all of our massive, massive, this, I just wanna look around, take pride in things for a moment. From that measly little life pod over there to that, to that, to that. Making the plays. Can you kindly fork off? Thank you. God, I swear if you eat my buddy down here, Speaking of which, what should I name him? Feel free to give some recommendations. What, what should I name our bud? Because we haven't named him, and that's that's a problem, isn't it? We really should do that. Okay, so, can I sleep? I can, and then we will head over there and see what's in store. Probably nothing good, if you ask me, but well, we'll find out. May as well do it. Okay, so 22 minutes. What are we gonna be at as it counts down quickly? 15 more minutes, let's check that time. All right, yep. We're gonna be uh, gonna be cutting nice and close to when I need to leave, actually leave in the real world. Um, but maybe we'll find some interesting things on the way to the sites. I wonder what happens if you're not there when it happens. I'd rather not play that game. Actually, okay, so let me see. I have I have food, I have water. Yep, I think we're fine for 15 minutes. I think we're good. I'm gonna be disappointed if we're not good and I run out, but I think we're good. We've got 200 water, we've got like 200 food, we've got spare, we're all charged up here. Yeah, I mean, if we're going home, then we shouldn't have to worry about food anymore. The sunbeam should have a lot of it. Should be all good to go. It's totally gonna work. It's definitely gonna work. Sunbeam landing site. Let's see where we end up. So we're heading north, northeast. I'm trying to think where that's gonna take us on the map. It's gonna be over like above the mushroom forest. Um, which, yeah, that might, that might actually be kind of where the islands are at. Um, I wonder if that's, it's picked up, um, yeah, like one of the islands to try to land over. Actually, is that the, uh, is that the alien island? That is, oh, oh, there we go. Cool. I don't know why, okay, it doesn't render until you get pretty close up, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's actually, it looks to be, it looks to be, uh, the alien gun island. 
Oh. I have a feeling I know what's about to happen. And it's not good for the sunbeam. Yep. No, I don't I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah. So I guess it the the one target down, one to go. That hadn't actually that wasn't the sunbeam. Pretty sure it's about to be. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's that's no good. So that's why everyone has been calling this island the the gun island. Because um Yeah. Okay, so where I guess I'm at the rendezvous point. That's probably why it's not showing up anymore. That's why everyone's been calling this the gun island. Even though it never was specifically a gun. I thought initially people were referring to it as the alien gun island because there was you could scan the thing in there. But I'm assuming that things are about to go quite poorly. And this is gonna pew pew. Oh dear. It's gonna be a bummer. Well, 13 minutes to go time. I guess I could explore for a few minutes. See if I can find any wrecks nearby, maybe. Or perhaps a, uh, a worker. Something like that. Um, alright. Let's go down. See if we can find any... Okay, bone sharks. Always good. So, I think this is mushroom forest. If we headed north a little bit more, I think we'd get back into blood kelp. Um... If that's of any interest. Could do that. Let's see. So, has it... Yep. Okay. It's illuminated again. Well, let's see what happens. We may, may as well just explore. We have uh, 12 minutes to go and... that I think I just saw a warper do something over there. Which is going to be great. There we go. I like how it's like a thousand meters horizontally seems like a lot. And then when I dive straight down, I expect to get down super quickly, and I'm like, oh wait, 600 meters, that would take a long time to cover horizontally, so why would it be any different vertically? Okay, my light is on. Damn, this is a drop off here. Entering ecological dead zone. Adding report to data bank. Ooh, this is where we don't want to go, right? Isn't. Okay, we're at, oh, 1,500 meters away. So, I just went off of the edge. Uh, we don't actually want to do that. Because I've read about what happens when you do that, and it's not good. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I didn't realize we were that far away from home. 1,400 meters to the south-southwest. So, yeah, wait, where's Blood Kelp then? Damn, okay, so this thing's like way over... Um, so south, southwest. I guess that means we're at like mountains or something like that. So this is right at the edge of the map. I did not realize. All right, fair enough. We don't want to go there. We don't want to go there because it spawns like uh, ghost leviathans is what I've been told when you do that. Um, so actually if I head west, I think is where I need to go in order to find blood kelp. Yeah, uh, if you head off the edge, it spawns ghost leviathans trying to get you back in. Uh, to go go the other way. Don't be dumb. Do something else. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's maybe, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so... Blood kelp, huh? How about that? That's, I just don't know. Am I off the edge of the map right now? I need to go back in a little bit. I definitely work my way closer again. Oh, okay. Here is Underwater Islands. Should be pretty close to Blood Kelp. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we just head north, northwest, I should end up at Blood Kelp again. There we go. Cool. It's very hard to keep track. Even if I'm going off of compass, it's like, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I think I get it now. So it's just that you have more northern, tra like, trajectory. Um, <clears throat> when you are in the blood kelp, it just goes further out until crater edge. Uh, also, so I was informed that the place we went into so that's called the Lost River. 
the place with the, the green gases and where I got a little scared and then turned around. Um, so that, yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. I can't remember exactly where it was, though. Let me just, let's turn on the beacon for, or was it, 500 meters? Where were you? This one. Alright, over there. Alright, obviously we just want to... God, 800 meters away. Okay, I thought we were close by to Blood Kelp, but... <laughs> I guess not. Um, that's fine. I almost want to just... Should I grab one more of these things? Just to have one. So we can plant more of these. I don't know if they're useful or anything, but it can't hurt because this place is far away. And it'd be a pain to come here every time that we need to grab one of those. Alright, obviously just don't want to we just want to make sure I don't kill too much time. Oh god, it is a thousand meters away. I just like the blood kelp zone. It's really cool. It's ominous. But it's pretty damn cool. So yeah, I guess the music just comes on when you enter Lost River. Or something like that. I hear a warper. Oh dear. Holy shit balls! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, that's not good. I was only 7 health at least. Okay, you know, maybe this isn't the best place to go in order to kill time because I might get killed. And then, hey, you know what? Save. That's what I should have done last time around that I was entering this location. That way things do go terribly wrong and I miss the sunbeam. Uh, we can, we can go back and not do that. I should just put here. There you are. Okay. All right. The question is, do I approach further with the amount? I don't. I just don't think I have enough time. Yeah. I just took a detour. I would, if it weren't for needing to go back to the Sunbeam site. I totally. I would push onward, and I just. I just repulsion cannon his ass and be like, you know what? I don't care. I just save stated. We're good. But I don't, yeah, I didn't realize that we were so far away. I thought it was just going to be a, a quick, quick little trip over to Blood Kelp, like 100 meters away or something, and then we were going to be good, but no. No, definitely that's not the case. So, God, yeah, it's over 1,000 meters. I have to get going back. I'm sure it'll only take like three minutes, but if I were to mess with that dude bro over there, then I think I could eat up the time pretty quickly, especially if things go south. So... I know that's... Hey, we're doing it live. Uncut. Not much we can do about it, but we uh, we killed a little bit of time, so that's good. There's actually a wreck over in Underwater Islands that I could have tried to go in and check out. Which might have been a better use of my time, but... Oh, well. That's fine. It's fine. No worries. So I wonder if you do just jump off the edge in, like, a, a prawn suit. I think Nick was saying that he had done that in one of our trials episodes. <laughs> like, what, uh, can you, if you just fall all the way down and you don't get killed by the ghost leviathans, can you just basically fall off into the abyss where it's not actually been modeled and textured or anything by the developers? Curious. <clears throat> all right, I like that I now have a beacon for the rocket launch pad. There was a wreck over here. So I guess part of the reason why the thing was so far away is just because of the verticality. I keep forgetting, like, I'm really deep down, so something could be directly above me, but if I'm a thousand meters down, it's a thousand meters away. And I forget about that. It's just like a thousand meters horizontally, again, always seems like a lot. Is that an island? I'm just trying to find the, uh, trying to find the wreck that was somewhere around here. I don't really have time for it. All right, let's just head back, and we'll twiddle our thumbs for a few minutes. I just don't want to miss it. So, it'd be a shame if I were to do that. And I'd have to go back to my save state, and then we'd have to, it'd just be, it'd be a whole thing. You don't want that. You don't want that. I can take this time to repair the Seamoth. 
has. I made a boo-boo. Alright, so if you head just west off of this island, you end up in the underwater islands. I'm sure eventually you can probably get used to the whole layout of the map and everything, but um, yeah, I I don't know that I ever will. I don't know that I have the capacity to track that big of a map. You got the blood oil here, blueprints, I just want to actually drink some water. There we go. And what are the uh, new blueprints that are highlighted that you just want me to pay attention to? Neptune Gantry, got it. And I just want the one to Cyclops Docking Bay Repair Module. Oh, repairs vehicles docked to the Cyclops. Well, that's convenient. Now I don't have to use the repair tool anymore, and it can just, um... Geological data. Crater edge. Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. The data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2-kilometer by 2-kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been a uh, millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. That's not a crater, though. If it... The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Basically, just don't go there. The map isn't... It's not built. We didn't make it, so don't go there. It's like going outside the map. But that's not a crater. A crater is... Is that. This is, a, like, a, a dome. Not a... A crater would be icy walls on... That doesn't seem like the right term, but maybe I'm just crazy. All right, we'll just stand here for a few minutes. Hmm. <laughs> Taking a drink, you know. All right. I'm just checking out the map in the meantime. I have it open on my other monitor. That's what I'm looking at. Um, so, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming that this island I'm looking at here is, is what I'm on? I don't know if that's an icon for an island, though, is what I'm... Hmm. Alright. Count it down. Do a drum roll for the next one and a half minutes. Sunbeam landing site. Should I stand right there so that it actually lands on my head? That would be, or, I don't think it's actually gonna, oh, I'm not expecting that there's going to be a landing that happens. All right, there are descriptions for a lot of things. You know what, I can just take this time to clear all of these pluses, which are not going away even after I've clicked on them for some reason. Come on, let's go. Click on all, I've clicked on all of you already. Why don't you go away? No! Stupid things just don't... Come on, man. Let the pluses go bye-bye. Come on. I have seen you. I have already seen you. Reef back. Oh, that's considered a Leviathan. I guess maybe Leviathan just means big. It doesn't really mean whether it's angry or not. Exploitable flora. All right. Let's uh, see. Okay, so nice. It just... The notifications won't go away. Oh, wait. Uh. Want this happen? Holy shoot! Ah, uh, that thing's getting ready to. Oh, that's why people are calling it the gun! Oh dear. Oh, oh, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. You guys are gonna want to turn around now. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you no, held out no. there. No, We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing. No, you don't want to do that. You're not gonna want to do that. You're definitely- Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. No, you're not gonna want- everyone. Oh, dear. Touching down in Is 10, that- It's- nine. Right there. Eight. It's coming from the building? Oh dear. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh 
Oh. That's not gone well. Guess we're going to be here a little while longer, it would seem. Well, alrighty then. So, uh, any more follow-up dialogue there? Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. Also expected, but disappointing. So, uh... We done here? Is that it? <laughs> Alright. Is he gonna reset its position now? Cool. Well, it was a... You really... It didn't look like a gun. Until that. I guess we're done here. Cool. Uh, is there their new radio transmission? Maybe. Probably not coming from them. Rip in pieces. Well, uh, hey. On that note, I guess uh, we're gonna wind it down for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed more than the sunbeam did. Yep. All right. Uh, hey, stay stay tuned. Stick around. Next time we'll do other things, and it'll be great. Um, you can check out other episodes in the playlist if you missed any, and other videos on other games if you want to do that as well. Uh, all right, we'll end it there. I'll see you next time. <laughs>